Hi y'all. Floss tube. I'm gonna show you some finishes real quick. Um, I probably shouldn't inter introduce myself because I think I might put this at the beginning. So I'm Amy. I love toads. I have a floss tube. It's about cross stitch. I'm outside in my garden and the birds are really loud. You might be able to hear the fountain also. So we'll, I'm just going to show you finishes real quick. And then I'll probably go in and show you the rest of the stuff. That little bird up there. Yeah, he's being loud. Okay, so I finished this for a friend, but I have not FFO'd him yet. So he's from Lindy Stitches. He used to be a little freebie she'd give out, but I think you can get it on her website now. LindyStitches.com. And he's just a little turtle. And uh, what is this? I think this is Alchemy, maybe. Alchemy from Picture This Plus, 36 count. So I'm gonna make him into a little pillow and send him off to a friend. And I just picked colors out of my stash. Okay, this next one, I found a thrift store frame for the snail that my girlfriend stitched me. So Natalie stitched me this little snail from Prairie Schooler. And I just found this little silver frame and stuck him in it. And I love him. Natalie is on floss tube. She's home, let's see, hold on. Home sweet home handmade. And then my last finish, let me show you guys. It's a big one. It's the dog sampler from Heartstring Samplery. And I changed that dog. I took two of these dogs and stuck them up here. Um, the alphabet, mine didn't come with an alphabet, so I will show you what I did for my initials. I don't know if you can see that, but Beth's initials are in there very, very faintly. Um, and I changed a lot of the colors. I think the grass was actually supposed to be tent stitch and I did it full cross. And I found a thrift store frame had my husband paint it silver and stuck it in here. And I I need to redo it because it is too close over here. It's It needs to go over just a hair. So here it is. So this is stitched, let me think. Weathered Shingle by R&R, &R, 36 count. And I did it all one over two, one over two linen threads. So here's the little dogs I added. And yeah, I changed the bird color, the, a lot of the grass color, a lot of the dog <laughs> I changed the roof color. So what I did for the initials is I took them out of this book. This book has tons of alphabets, like probably four pages of alphabets in the back. So I grabbed one that I liked and I stuck my initials right there. So I love it. I have it hanging on my wall in my sewing room already but I do need to take it down and um, reframe it because it's over too far, but yeah. Yeah, the little bird, he's too loud. So I'm gonna go in and film the rest of my floss too. Okay, the bird was driving me crazy. So I know it was driving y'all crazy. So I had to come in. So this is a floss tube, cross stitch. This is my sewing room. A lot of people like looking at the walls. So there's my one finish and there is the finish that Natalie, Natalie stitched me. So y'all can look at the cross stitch and not have to hear the crazy bird. So floss tube, 65 is April, 2021. And I think it's the ninth. Yeah, okay. 
Um, I want to thank some people really quick. Uh, Jane, Jill, Denise, and Noaf. Right? Did I say it right? <laughs> thank you for the coffee. Really, the stitchy stuff. Because um, I don't buy coffee out. I buy coffee at the grocery store and make it at home. So I can buy stitchy stuff. And I have a tiny bit of haul today, so y'all will be able to see that. Okay, let's see. I'm going to start with this big old pile right here. And this is my morning piece. I'm doing it once a month. I'm stitching on an animal once a month. This is Lakeside Needle Craft Woodland Sow. So I did the stag this month for April. Um, the only thing I'm changing about this pattern is the border is in a red and a pink and I made mine in a dark brown and a light brown. I'm stitching this on Valor. That's picture this plus. It's 36 count and I am stitching it one over two threads. Yep, so there's the stag. And I brought my border down a tiny bit here on the right underneath the owl. So in May, right? April, May. Yes, in May. I think it's a squirrel. The next one is a squirrel. I love it. It looks so little back here. It is little, really. <laughs> but it's turning out so good. Okay, uh, Whipco was drawn, I cannot remember the numbers, but I know this was for April. This was drawn for April on my board. It is from the Blue Flower, Janine McGowan, and it's Huckleberry Farm. And I'm gonna put up before pictures if I can. Let me find my board. Let's see y'all can see it better. Okay, so this is Driftwood, I believe. By who's Driftwood by? Color and cotton. 36 count. And that is where I'm at. So I believe I worked on the butterfly some more and I worked on that left-sided vine some more, the huckleberry. So I have a little chipmunk down there at the bottom. I have another bird up there at the top. And I'll continue to work on this in April. And I've moved some stuff around and I've changed some stuff so the house is green. Let me see here. I move this bear up to here and I'm putting a chipmunk right there. And you'll see that as it, it comes along. So. This is a kit I got off of mybobbin.com. It is called Moraine Lake, I think, and it is a real lake in Canada. I'm stitching this for my son, and I usually stitch on this on Thursdays when he has Boy Scouts. So let's see here. I'll put in a before. I believe I didn't have all these trees done, and now I'm kind of working up this mountain and then I'll work on the sky. But it's turning out so good. This is, I think 16 count Ada. It's all the kit floss and the kit fabric. I worked on the visitor a tiny bit. Let's see, what did I do? 
I think I worked on, I finished this leaf right here. I started on those pink flowers and I may have started on that leaf right there. But you should be able to tell a difference if I can find my before. Yep. Okay, let me think. Um, I know it's 36 count, one over two. It's Bramble. Pram Bramble is one of my favorites. So Bramble by Picture This Plus. It's so beautiful. Oh, and I'm changing some colors. So this green right here was more yellow. I think I'm only changing greens. Um, all the other colors I'm used, using is call, are called for. This is gonna be a quick video. Um, I also, I might show you plans and show you some pictures of a walk in the park that we took. I took some awesome pictures of frogs and birds. I'll put those at the end though. This is a RTO kit that my husband got me for Valentine's Day so I could stitch it and remember my daughter because she is across the country. I'll put in a picture where I was. Okay, so everything is the kit floss and the kit fabric. So I think it's 14 count Nita. And you're not gonna be able to tell anything, <laughs> but that is a book. That's his tail and that's his head. I think that's his little nose right there. So you really can't tell what he is yet, but let me see. So I'm gonna to have to put a picture in right here of what it will look like. It is a free pattern. It's flowers of the month. I'm stitching this with my friend Jemima. She's the rocking stitcher on here on FlossTube and on Instagram. And I finished block April, which is sweet pea. I don't even know what the next block is, but the next block I'll put right here. So isn't it beautiful? So I am doing this one over one on 28 count. It's an even weave and I think I got it from Hobby Lobby a long time ago. Um, since I finished that sampler right there, which is the dog sampler by Beth Twist, uh, heartstring sampler, I picked up my sampler, whoop, Francis Graspy 1845. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So this, this is the sampler I'll be, I'm just gonna concentrate on one sampler at a time because I have, I don't know, too many going and if I concentrate on one at a time, they'll get done faster. And I'm changing stuff. Of course I'm changing stuff, right? Okay. This is, let me think. I know there's a tag somewhere. Hold on. Parchment. This is 36 count parchment by Weeks Dye Works. And this is where I went. Okay, so... I know I work on the house, but let me show you something. These flowers right here are very pink and those flowers are very pink. So I've been pulling the pink out and putting in a mauve, like a darker pink because this pink is just way too bright. So I have to go around and do that. I've done it, I think, all to the bottom. So the bottom ones are done this side over here, I still, I haven't done all the flowers, of course, but yeah, I'm changing out the pink. 
and I'll be ripping these flowers out. So just, we're gonna do some changes to this one. But I love it. Okay, my son might be coming because I think he's on his way to work. So he might come tell me goodbye. So the pink, it might have been this one. It might have been that pink that I'm changing my light. Sorry guys. So changing it from this pink to this mauve, very dark mauve color, which is Weak Skyworks Pink Sand. So that's what I'm changing my flowers to. Got two more to show you. I'm not showing you my stocking, my son's stocking this time because I didn't work on it very much. We we're so busy on Sundays this month so far, and um, I think it's been three weeks since I filmed, and there's hardly anything to show you. Also, I only worked on this one day, <laughs> but Jenny, I'm going to show it to you because Miss Long Dog, she can see it. Okay, and I see the frog. I started on his foot. I'm so excited, and somewhere I have messed up. So I'm just, I've got to work all this and then fake this or fake this and work that. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. I can't find my mistake. So we're just going to go with it. This one is really, really big. It is chamomile tea by r and &R. It is 36 count. Let me see. Should I show you? I'll show you what I worked on first and then... I'll show you the whole thing. Okay, here we go. Let's see. I don't know what I worked on. Um, these words, I know I worked on those words. I might have worked on the boat, and that is the frog's foot. So somewhere in here, I'm off. I don't know. So if I just work up here and over, and then fill in all this to make it work. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because I cannot figure out where I'm off at. So here is the whole thing. Hold on, let me put my board down and see if I can just hold it up. Yeah, okay, so here is the whole thing. It's amazing. The floss I'm using is a DMC 3363. And I work on this one day a month for the Long Dog Leap Day Sal. So I pull it out between the 27th and the 29th. I pull it out for a day and stitch on it. I do not think I told you guys what that was. That was the Pilgrim. I told you who it was by, <laughs> Long Dog, but I didn't tell you it was uh, the Pilgrim. Okay, now my haze that I'm working on. It's on my stand because I'm gonna work on it one more day before I rotate. So this is who I'm working on. It's called The Favorite, uh, Charted by Heaven and Earth. The artwork is by Omar Ryan. And that is my little dog, Nellie. She is the spawn of Satan, but we love her. Let's see. Let me move my thread. I, I stopped mid-stitch, so it's going to be hard to see. This is where I'm at. You can see her head coming in. I'll put where I was. I had to order some flosses for her face color. I think I had to order, I don't know, 15 more flosses or something. So I did end up getting a pattern from one, two, three stitch. Um, it's not here yet. I think it's supposed to come Tuesday and this is Saturday. So, um, What's it called? It's by Petal Pusher. It was an expo 
release and it's the one with the B. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll show y'all next time. So there she is. Oh, yep, you see her little head. Okay, I got some stitchy kindness, sweetness. So I want to give away from Jan, Jan Hicks Creates. And I won this um, Beth Twist pattern. I love you truly, truly dear. It reminds me of It's a Wonderful Life. So thank you, Jan. She has a floss too, of course. I'm sure you are watching her. Uh, Jackie from Cross My Stitches sent me a Easter card. And she made that. Okay. Um, the neighbors are walking their dogs and my dogs are not having it. So I think they're going to be quiet for a minute. So um, I got some more stitchy kindness from a lady named Kelly. She contacted me and wanted to send me some kits, but she sent me project bags, kits, and charts. So thank you, Kelly. I've already thanked her, but like really thank you so much. So I'm going to show you the project bags and the kits. So this is one project bag she sent me. Isn't that beautiful? And she sent me this kit. It has the female and the male cardinal on it. And all the balls. She sent me this pattern. This project bag with this fox or is that a wolf no that is a wolf <laughs> y'all are screaming at me and you got a snow fox and then a lot of other patterns she sent me um so let's see hold on Told you, let's see, Kelly, come here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I have a tiny bit of haul. Just one thing, actually. <laughs> I did order the one, two, three stitch order, but um, it'll come in Tuesday. And so, um, Melly Ellie Stitches here on Floss Tube. It's Melanie. She is stitching a cabin. I think it's called Aurora Cabin. It's a Dimensions Cabin. And I think Jemima is stitching a cabin too, aren't you? Maybe? I think you are, but it has like a bridge. So I wanted to stitch a cabin. So I found this really small one on eBay. I couldn't find it on um, like one, two, three stitch. I think it's, it's it might be, um, What's the word? Out of print. But it reminds me of that Aurora cabin. You can kind of see the stuff there. So, yep. So, I don't know when I'll be starting that, but soon. I'm going to show you plans too. I'm going to pull out some plans and show you. Okay, plans for May. I'm gonna to try to get as much done in April as I can. I would like another finish before I start anything. But in May, I would like to do, I think Lindy Stitches did it last year, where instead of mania, it's sania, where you work on something all week and then you get a new start on the weekend. And here are the contenders, is that a word? So, this one, let's see what it's called. Moonlit Cabin. So I might start Moonlit Cabin and stitch it with Melanie and Jemima. 
I need to start this one. This will probably be my first start. Uh, the letters from mom. So I'm going to do letters from Natalie, my pen pal, and just do the envelope. I've already pulled the fabric and the floss. This kit I've been wanting to start since I've had it. And I saw that, oh, what's her name? Kokohama Stitches, Stitchery. Um, she has it and she's thinking about starting it. So I would love to stitch that little frog and ducks. This one is called Ugly Duckling. I also found this one on eBay a really long time ago. Also, <laughs> I want to start this turtle. And you will see pictures of the turtles on our walk. If I can put them in at the end. So when we go to the little lake near our house, the little, it's called Echo Park. Um, Echo Lake Park. There's turtles on the logs. So cute and that's why I want to start that turtle so bad so I've already started buying the floss for him and I've got the fabric picked out and then I might maybe if I'm not sick of starts the very last start because I think there's five weeks in May I'll start my next Hade which is Deer Creek and I'll be stitching that with Jemima also, so the rocking stitcher, and I'll put a picture of Deer Creek in right here. Okay, so that is it, except I have a best new thing that I want to tell you about really quick. I'm going to steal Michelle's Bendy Stitchy, her best new thing. So my daughter for my birthday bought me what is called a friendship lamp, and Oh my gosh, it makes my heart sing every time it goes off. So she has a lamp and I have a lamp and I'll put in pictures of our lamp. It's a little thing, it plugs into like a USB thing and you touch it and pick a color and it will send a color to her lamp so she knows that I'm thinking about her or she can touch hers and pick a color and it'll send the color to my lamp and I know that she's thinking about me. So it's by my stitchy spot in the living room and we'll just be sitting there watching TV or I'm stitching and it'll light up with a color and I just get so happy and just, it makes me think of my daughter. I miss her so much. to see us and I am so excited I cannot wait to hug her little neck so that is it for now um, I'm gonna edit this put in pictures I'll put in the nature pictures at the end if I can and um, put in the pictures of the lamp I think it has probably like 15 different colors it's really hard to photograph though so um, anyway, okay guys, be kind, I love you.